The Runaway P by Jarton Poskett and Alex Wilmore. It's six o'clock and we're ready for tea, but look, what's that? It's a runaway pea. He picked off the plate with incredible force, then slipped and went splat in a puddle of sauce. Carrots and beans were all laughing with glee. You didn't get far, you piddling pea. Just what said the pea, I've hardly begun. I might only be small, but I want to have fun. The pea shot away with a skip and a hop. Then into the dog bowl, he fell with a plop. Climb, little pea, climb up the side. Quick, before Boris's mouth opens wide. The runaway pea jumped amazingly high and so nearly landed in Boris's eye. He rolled along Boris, Boris's back in a flash, but a flick of a tail sent him flying off. Splash! Where am I, he wondered, his head really hurt. Get out my tank, said Adele with a squirt. He fell on a mouse trap, which snapped with a bang, and bounced off a cobweb that stretched and went twang. He came on to rest on a high dusty shelf. So far so good, smiled the pea to himself. Surely there's nothing else left to go wrong. Then a fan started off and blew him along. What's that below with an orangey glow? It's a slot in the top of the toaster. Oh no! In the pea fell, unable to stop. Then the toaster pinged with an almighty pop. Ow! cried the pea. My bottom's on fire! As he flew straight into the tumbling dryer. Buffered and battered and bounced all about. The pea was so glad when he, when he finally got out. He collapsed on a shirt that had newly been washed. Look out, little pea, you're going to get squashed. Under the fridge to a dark sticky hole. Too weary to move, he just let out a groan. Then got a strange feeling he wasn't alone. Out of the gloom came mysterious shapes. A dried up banana and two mouldy grapes. Oh dear, said the pea, what happened to you? We were naughty, they said. We all ran away too. We don't recommend it, they whimpered quite sadly. You'll get old and wrinkled and start to smell badly. I've changed my mind, said the runaway pea. I'll get back on that plate and be ready for tea. You won't, said the grapes, because you've been on the floor. Runaway pea, you're not loved anymore. The little pea trembled. I knew it was true. There was nowhere to go for him. Nothing to do. Helpless and hopeless and feeling forlorn. His tired eye closed and he gave a big yawn. But a magic thing happened while he was asleep. He woke up beside the recycling heap. The soil was soft and the weather was sunny. Soon the pea started to feel a bit funny. Under the ground he was sprouting some roots. Out of his top he was shooting out shoots. The shoots all had pods and inside every one was a party of new peas all bursting with fun. So if you should ever hear a pop, ping or splat, or a splosh in the sink, or a yowl from the cat, or a rapity tat in the cupboard, then please, don't panic. It's only those runaway peas.